National Service or NS is the inevitable conscription for every Singaporean son into the Singaporean military. You can dread it, run from it, NS arrives all the same. So on this episode of IMO, we discuss NS and give you some tips on surviving NS with your sanity. Denzel just asked Blue Sotong versus Cao King. Honestly speaking, I don't know about you as an officer. I'm very okay with the Blue Sotong. I'm very okay with Blue Sotong. When you try to skive, your work becomes other people's problem. Right? That is bigger than being a person. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of In My Opinion. My name is John. My name is Alester. And we are back. We're finally back. You know, after uh, one week of no real episode. Yeah, we are finally back with an actual We're episode now. Back. And, uh, you know, as usual, follow us on Instagram, mm. TikTok, Telegram, Twitch, everywhere over SG. Yes. And also, oh, Telegram as well. Did I say Telegram? Telegram as well. Instagram, whatever. Mm, mm. And I realized something. For the Spotify people who I said there were video podcasts, there was for a period of time, but for some weird reason now, I cannot no, upload cannot. video podcasts on anymore Anchor. on Anchor. Why, yeah? I don't know. I cannot. Yeah, no, but I managed that, that to do time it. you can, I but could. I cannot. Eh. Then now I cannot. So I don't know what's going on, but Anchor needs to get their shit together because I cannot longer upload video podcasts on, YouTube, on on Anchor. So I'm so sorry about it. We'll try to fix it. But, but there you have it. There you have it. It is what it is. It is what it is. But it's still another good episode anyway. So today we're getting into yes. a topic which uh, we always discuss off stream. Yeah, we always talk a lot about this off, uh, off, oh, not off stream, like off, uh, off the podcast on off the stream, the air, off the air while we were on the stream. Yes. We will talk about it because a lot of people inevitably ask about it. Yes, and some of our chat members, like uh, our mod, our mods and stuff, are actually in their face in life. But we're talking about NS. We're talking about national service, uh, which basically for the people who don't know, uh, Singaporean guys have Singapore's to Singapore's conscription. Yes, have to go to the army after like once, once, once they finish. A certain yeah. level of education. Education. Yeah, then they have to go. They have to go into the army, and then for most people, army. The two years of army is basically like wasted time, lah. For most people, people they dislike and dread the idea. Correct, and uh, not I would say it's without reason, but most people do dislike it and they yeah. don't like it and stuff like that. But, but like Thanos, it is inevitable. It is inevitable, unfortunately. So, uh, just to give some context, John, you are an officer in army. I am. I yes. am. Uh, when I okay, maybe I'll just for context, right? What are we doing in this, right? Yes. For me, uh, I am a transport officer, mm. right? Sounds like I uh, operate SMRT or something, but it's no. <laughs> You're uh, a common one of the no, I, I Basically, I'm a transport officer. I command uh, a fleet of vehicles and I command a fleet of men. Yeah. Right? And then, uh, yeah, basically, that's, 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 the, that's the easiest way to summarize it. Uh. Yeah. I'm a sergeant. Uh, my 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 NS journey is a bit more complicated. Yeah. But I won't go. I won't bore you guys the details. I was mm. trained as an armor sergeant, but eventually I became a clerk. Yeah. But yes. Um, armor is tank. Tank. We I drive the tank and then I go boom boom. <laughs> yes. Correct. 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 So transport is transport is car lorry 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 yeah. Like yeah. more lorry than car. More actually, lorry to be honest. Uh, lorry. lorry than... <laughs> yeah. But uh, and also what? How how would you? Describe your NS experience if you, right. had, if you had to. Uh, okay, I cannot describe easily. Yeah. But if you ask me to rate upon 10. Yes, upon right, 10, I, give yes. You, I think that's an easier way to that's think a, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Upon 10, I will rate my NS experience 7.5. That's very high. Yeah. That is very high. Uh, I think most people will rate it below 5. Yeah. But okay. My, I'll justify later. Oh, you are justify. My, my answer will be first half of NS when I was an armor sergeant, uh, probably 3. <laughs> 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 Second okay. half of my NS when I was a clerk, I'll, I'll, I'll probably around 7.5. Ah, ah, ah? I'll probably around 7.5. Uh, around there. Say? And mm. so, uh, not too bad. Uh, I, I actually didn't dread it as much once I down and right. everything. It was a lot better. Right. right. And actually, uh, like, I would say I enjoyed it to uh. the max or anything, but I wasn't dreading right, it. Right, right, right. So, it was not that bad. The first half though was bad. Uh. But okay, anyways, for those people who Oh, so maybe never gone to army before yet yeah. or whatever. Those people who are in officers, most who are, who are officers, most of the time, there are a lot. Okay, my stereotype of people who are officers, they are a lot more enthusiastic, uh -huh. a lot more willing to to do the second, a lot more willing to 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 go above and beyond for. Uh, the, I would for say army. also like mysteriously good looking. Okay, I won't go uh, that far. I incredibly I intelligent. Feel like, I feel and like charisma off the charts. I feel like that's a little bit too much. I As you know. can see. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, but, but okay, I, I, I get where that stereotype yeah, yeah, is yeah, from yeah. because after all, if you think about the trainings that NSFs 
NSF means what? Mm. NS full time, which is all the conscript people, mm. right? The o- opposite of that is the regulars who mm. are people who uh, serve the nation as a job. Right? Yes, yes. So NSFs, most of the time, the people who go through the, the officer cadet course, mm. right, receive some of the tough training. I don't want to say, it, right? I don't want to say the toughest. The toughest definitely go to our special ops people. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about them. For, let's say, the non-specialized roles, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Commanders. The OCS course is tougher lah. It's probably the toughest lah. It's probably the toughest lah. Okay, so in that, while we're going through those tough trainings, Mm. now we're going to the tips, right? How do you survive that? Like what are some of the tips for people who, okay, maybe they're not officers, but they still Uh feel like that normal BMT or normal day-to-day training was already big sucks already. Yeah, okay, this is important. I I, I like to answer this question because, right, uh, it's actually related to why I say 7.5 on 10. Yeah, okay, okay. Even though uh, there were definitely high key sucky parts. High key. High key. High, high key, key sucky. Yeah, Not high just key, low key, but high key. Not just, it's an emphasize. It's like, sucky, right? I bow italics underline. <laughs> <laughs> control B, control U, control I. Okay, but anyway. Let's go. Okay. So, uh, for me, there is a reason and uh, uh, there, there is a sort of like, uh, the mo- the key reason why, okay, I enjoy NS to a 7.5 upon 10 level is because I understood the meaning of NS. Okay, so that's, okay. So that's what like I guess propelled you to yes. do better. And that is the short TLDR answer, right? For a tip on how to solve to all your solve, un- yeah. Mm. Understand the meaning of NS and what it's supposed to do. But that's like the hardest part, no? It's the hardest because you are in a bad situation. Yeah. So abstract idea first, man, right? Yeah, it's very abstract. So abstract idea first. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. uh during my training times, right, things were things were difficult. Yes. Right. And for I would say for majority of the male population li- leading up to when you're 18, 17, 19, that kind of age range, right? Yeah. You've never really been put into a position where you're forced to go through uh, adverse conditions. I mean, yeah, you're young and, yeah. and Singapore never, is quite a cozy place. Though, yeah, you've never really been forced to go through adverse conditions. I mean, for me, I would say me and my, some of my friends were quite lucky because we were in ODEC before. So like we had some outdoor experience, but... Outdoor NS, I'm not saying they're related or by any means uh, equal measure. Even NCC and NS is like yeah, a different. Absolutely really. no no relation. No, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. basically, you through that you learn an attitude. Mm-hmm. Right? You learn an attitude that like if uh if the sucky parts, right, is inevitable. Yeah. Right? You might as well try to make the best of it. Mm. And I think that's the key attitude that I had during NS. Yeah. Or rather there were times I have to admit that I also like like uh lost my emotions and, and was upset lah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. not all the time because you always try to try to uh see put a positive spin right on your current situation. I'm not asking you to like, oh my god, just be positive. No 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 no. <laughs> no no that, that's bullshit, right? You just say <laughs> yeah. like, oh just just, just be happy just don't be you know? sad, right? yeah. That's bullshit. Right? I'm like, holy shit, I didn't think no, of but that. But what I'm thinking <laughs> is like basically you can try to put a positive spin on your experience. Okay, so give like, me an example. I give you an example. Yeah. Okay, so like for example, uh, there was this one a- in exercise I remember very very well. Mm. We went to Brunei. Yeah. Right to train. Uh, it rained every thirty minutes. Okay. And the rain is not the insincere Singapore rain. It's the, is the you on your shower head to the max. <laughs> insincere Singapore rain is uh, such a good way of putting. Then it. you off right. Then you off already right. Yeah. Then the sun make you dry. Yeah. Dry already. Uh, your toes still feel a bit wet only. So dry. Then they on the shower again. That was the Brunei forest raid. Mm-hmm. Okay? So there's one night where we were about to harbour, which is basically we set up camp to stay. Yeah. And it start. Yeah. So I faster, take out my poncho, take out my everything, I set up my basha, put my things, you know, one small tea line and down there, very cosy, like camping like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Then, that's when I look out into the distance, right? A whole bunch of my friends, some of them, right? Give up on life, right? They're just, <laughs> they're just standing in the rain. <laughs> Then it rained like the walkers from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's when it suddenly hit me, you know? Like, why is though. it that like, uh, even though I am tired, mm. my mental state quite drained, I'm still not like that, right? It's because I try to put a positive spin on what I do, mm. right? Because I realized that I heard, right, what the commanders have done before because all these commanders that train you also cannot before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, oh, they pitch faster. Then after that, you know what they do? They say they put their, their ration, the dessert pack. Yeah. They put on the rooftop. Then after that, it becomes cold and you can eat. 
Oh. So in my head, right? I'm just like, I faster pitch. That's all you're thinking. I so I dry. Then after that, you dry, then you, then you think like, oh la, see cold or not. Mm. So in that sense, right? Mm. Suddenly you think to yourself, wow, cold dessert in the forest. It, 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 it distracts you enough that even though you are in the shit, in the, in the suck, yeah, in the suck, you kind of, instead of embracing the suck, you make your own the good unsuck. Of the suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, is this a mindset that you learned in army or is it already you had it I before? I think I'm lucky because I am uh, generally yeah. not a pessimistic person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. me, I'm lucky. But when you're really tired and you're really drained and whatever and everywhere is wet, everything is uncomfortable, you need to call upon yourself to to bring this out one. Mm. The 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 most the op, the best optimist in the world, right, also can have bad days. Yes. So during those bad times, right, is when you need to call need to distract yourself by finding uh ways to make your experience better. Mm. So instead of just like I'm gonna feel better. No 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 you actually go and do something like for example you think to yourself, oh this tea light quite small. Huh? Actually uh you create your own fun. For example, mm. maybe I'll just be like actually four tea light hot or not. Mm. Mm. You don't know until you try, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you do that, right, you're not you're not bothered by the by, discomfort, mm. right? The commander say put the put the dessert back on the roof, cold, eh? cold or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Put mm. Then commander say the floor, right, uh, wet or whatever. You put your LBV, then you lie on it, work or not? That's true. A try, ah. Then you know, then then yeah, in yeah, that yeah. sense, you create your own things to do, right? Mm. Then you're not so upset. Mm. because if you just focus on the fact that you're miserable right very easy to lose yourself to the misery and you're just like this sucks because you reach the point where this sucks full stop no continuation right then you cycle you basically dig a hole for yourself really. I agree I agree there's, yeah. I, I do think there's another side to that coin mm-hmm. right so I, I, I have been on the end of like your friends like staring into yeah. like I've been there <laughs> that exact same situation like I was in field camp in BMT and uh, then uh, I think uh, I told this story multiple times uh, but it was raining and me and my friends all collectively stood around this shell scrape yeah. that was being essentially a pool at that point and we just shine off torch light in it uh. and stare at it and then say a word. What, what is going through your head? Nothing. It, it's just, it's just fuck, is it? Do you know what's the worst thing? You know, the best, okay, I'll say the best thing and the uh. worst thing about that is that yeah. this sucks didn't even cross my mind. Uh. I was just, you were, were you, were you admit that you were basically swallowed whole by the suck? But you know, very like you weird. you em- embodied the this sucks. This, that, but <laughs> I think in a very weird accepting way. Uh, uh, uh. Like, I just accepted it. Right. And in a weird way, that was also okay. Right. Right. So, there's, I think, I'm someone who thinks a lot. And I think for the people who, who are army, who, who think a lot, I think, you are, unless you learn how to like shut off your brain, you might have like a pretty terrible time. Right? Because uh. there are a lot of things in army that don't make sense. Right? You cannot yeah. think through this thing. Right? So, like, so, for my strategy, it's just to try to make your own fun. Yeah, and go with the yeah. flow. I think those people who are will will strive for uh, will try for a little bit right, better in right. army. But for some for someone like me, like for example, my officer tell me to do something, mm. but I think it's really fucking stupid. And then I cannot let that go. Or like I for example it rains and then like I, I all I can think of is like me trying to solve the problem or how this could have been better. Uh. And then that would really spiral me down. Right. And that would that's what screws me over. It's not the actual suck. It's right. that like when it sucks, I go, this could have been prevented, blah, 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 blah. I want to do this, 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 this. And then that, that spirals me out of control. Right. And there are some people who are like that. Lah. But then in that weird way, when I was like in that rain and like staring at that bathtub, right? Yeah. I didn't think of it, right? And for, weirdly enough, that was like the most calming time of my whole field camp. And I was very okay with it. I was like, <laughs> and I think it's also better because you have friends around, right? All doing the same thing, la. For me, right, I, I I got a feeling how I would have dealt that in that situation. Yeah, yeah. I would have been it, shoveling water out of the hole, right? Yeah. But I'll be telling people faster, faster. Got a lot of water coming in. Eh. Because yeah, it's think, non-stop water, yeah, and, yeah. and it's like a joke. Because like you think about it, like <laughs> if you're standing in the sea, yeah. and then and then <laughs> you, you, shovel just, and then you shovel water and say, "Oh my god, we're sinking!" But we're already standing in the sea. Mm. Fucking funny. <laughs> right? If your 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 shell scrape, right, is yeah. full because of the rain and yeah. you're shoveling and you just say, faster guys, it's raining. It's quite funny. <laughs> you will it, there will be some element of stupidity, right? That will just snap you out of it. That's true. La. I, there was this one guy I remember during the exact same yeah, yeah. day who like began like he he took off all his coats and just bathed. And like 
I could, and he was so happy. Yeah, you know what? He I mean? was so fucking. I've never <laughs> seen someone so happy before. <laughs> like he was so happy. He was like, "Oh my god, I get to bathe finally." <laughs> now I'm the whole time I'm just like, I'm like, this guy is like crazy. But at the same, but okay, well enough that day wasn't that bad. It, I don't even think it was that worst day of my life right, in army. Right. But I think that is a uh, that's that leads Pretty me close, to my uh, tip, uh, right? Uh, uh, uh. That leads me to my tip of like being able to like once in a while shut off your brain. I right. don't think shutting off your brain your whole army life is a good idea. Uh-huh. I think you do need to think and I mean nowadays they are encouraging people to think yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. more and I think to not be a burden you should turn on your brain. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once in a while. Like. But I would say learning how to shut it off especially during times where it suck yeah. and especially during times where things don't make sense because yeah, 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 100% yeah, yeah. will not make sense one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some things in, in army right just doesn't make any fucking sense one. That's when you I think it's good to just shut off ah. and just like go with it. I would say right turn on your inner child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just just do uh. Just do exactly. Yeah. You need to not like keep thinking like, oh my god, this like why 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 am I doing this? Like it's this a waste been, of my time. Yeah, exactly. Blah, 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 blah. Or like oh this could have been so much more efficient, whatever. No point on. Yeah. That's my that's what I learned. La. Like yeah. you really just need to once in a while just like shut up, shut off your brain and just go with it and do. And yeah. when you like as fully accept that you're in the suck, even if you feel like it does suck, it, the acceptance will kind of easy a little bit. Rather mm. than you just trying to like internally fight it. Or I got internally... I got another tip, which yes. is the next tip for, for, for how to survive NX. Go ahead. Separate tip, right? Separate. <laughs> this one is a big one, I think. Mm. Okay? Which is, don't try to avoid the inevitable. Yes. I agree. That's this one kind is so of... important and I think this one covers the entire NS experience. Yes. Think about it, right? What is talking? <laughs> what is talking? <laughs> right, you all will hear this term talking a lot. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. People are trying to be lazy, people are trying to skive, people are trying to malinger. It's basically them trying to avoid doing something. Yes. But I don't know how many times I need to repeat this. <laughs> NS is inevitable. You cannot avoid it. And things that you need to do in NS is inevitable. Mm. So don't try to avoid the inevitable because that will only either push you over the limit of misery or it push you over the limit and behave badly. <laughs> Yes. And when you behave badly, you might think, oh, the system is just going to punish me. No. You cause a lot of problems for regular people. For regular mm. people who are just, who just want to do their job. And socially, you're also going to die a very big social death. Yeah. Because like, in army, it's a lot more social than you think it is. Mm. And if you don't do your job, I think people will be very angry at you. No, then also, you may find a toxic group that accepts you for the, uh, for, for what you are, right? You mm. want to avoid, you want to talking. A whole bunch of people are talking together. What? Mm. Uh, that is also not a good community to keep. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know how to explain, but yeah. It's, I also don't understand. Okay, I, I do think that like, there's it's very different from like, you trying your best and not being able to do something, right? Yeah. As compared to you not trying. Yes, yeah. I'm a, like there are plenty of people who like for example army is just not I'm not not like not built for army, yeah, right? Yeah. Like these people who for example like me or like other people who who just like cannot get a regiment or yeah. they don't they don't cannot deal with the regimentation, yeah, yeah, they yeah, cannot yeah. deal with army stuff, they cannot deal with like physical labor or whatever. Yeah. And you just try your fucking best, but you still just kinda suck. Yeah. Right. And I admittedly was kind of suck, uh-huh. right? I wasn't the best sergeant, or whatever. And but at the same time, what I can still say very willingly is that I try my best. Yeah. Like I did everything I could. I might have still sucked but I did everything I could. And I think that's significantly better than if you just didn't try. Mm. Like if you just didn't try, it's, I don't know, it just, it, it says a lot about you. La. You don't try, right? Hear me out. La. When yeah. you go into NS and you yeah. don't try to do something, you still have to do that something. Correct. <laughs> then don't just ask Blow Sotong versus Cao King. Honestly speaking, I don't know about you as an officer. I'm very okay with the Blur Sotong. I'm very okay with Blur Sotong. Mm. I'd rather you be a Blur Sotong than a Cao King. Because hear me out, right? Hear me out. I, had, I definitely had people who are blur and stupid yeah. even in OCS. <laughs> really? Right? My friend. Uh-huh. And then I'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> right? But that one, ah, better than people who don't want to do things. Yes. Because, it's just that yeah. they, they just like- need They're to- a bit slow on the uptake. Yeah, lor. But they're trying. And I think that's a lot. In honestly, in army, there'll be people that are angry with you if you are blur so long. And admittedly, I was one, right? Yeah. But as long as you show that you are like giving your all and like you are trying and you fix your messes yeah. and everything, right? More often than not, people will be there to fix it with you. Yeah. 
then then not lah. And people might be upset at your shenanigans. That one I will not deny. Right? Yeah, yeah. Will I'll be confirm upset one lah. Yeah lah, because you cause them trouble. Right? But I think right when you try to skive and mm. your work becomes other people' problem, right? That one is bigger than being a blur song. Yes, and I think this leads to my my next tip. Mm. I think uh having friends in army is probably like the biggest like I think it's right. a big like uh, uh easing factor of the of the stress la. yeah because like and the easiest way to lose friends right is talking yeah like that's if you don't do your shit right that's the easiest way to lose friends if there's someone ask someone asks you to clean the toilet no one fucking likes to clean the toilet like, who likes to clean the toilet mm. but if someone asks you to do it and you're meant to do it your yeah. duty is to do it and you don't do it People, all, like, that's the easiest way to just like yeah. isolate yourself. And, and that's why, right, and, all yeah. the talking people will only interact with the talking people. Yeah. And then, right, this whole amalgam of poor quality friends mm. will find each other. Yeah. And then, but having the friends, I think was what like kept me. And mm. and like, as much as that three, that, I say three, three of them, right? Like a good, like maybe 1.5 to 2 was, was because the people weren't half bad. Right. right, like the the people around were very nice. They they helped me a lot. They tried like I, I went through a breakup, and uh. they were they were they were there for me. Mm. They helped me through everything. A lot of these things, even though I wasn't the best section mate, right? Because I was a blur fuck, right? And I don't do very well with stress. So when like got time sensitive things, the commander's like, "Oh my god, we need to do this. Are like, you three minutes, right? Whatever." I freeze up, right? Then I'm not very good in that sense, and they know, and they're not angry, not happy with me, whatever. Yeah. But like at least I'm crying, right? <laughs> yeah. And they are still my friends. So because of that, like it got a lot better. And yeah, right. I didn't I didn't completely feel like total death because of it. You know? Mm. So I do say that like finding finding your friends and being able to mm. like do your best and like help other people out, I think it's very important in Army. Mm. Mm. Not everything I would say like if you can once in a while, like like you're, for example, you you're doing like some 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 army homework or whatever. Like you need to do a topography map or some shit. Mm. If your friend is like struggling, if you just help her. Yeah. Like it's not everything has to be like you do finish then you just like bang bang. Yeah. Yeah. I think helping once in a while, I think will go a long way, la. Yeah. And I think that's a great tip. Eh? Like for me personally, I got another tip. Come. Okay. And that would be right to uh be be sociable. Yeah. Right. But don't be... What's the term for it? Uh? Why young? Uh? No, like... <laughs> Overbearing. Don't, don't oversell yourself. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. What, be sociable, but don't oversell yourself. What's, what's the... What, what, what examples? Like, like, okay, you can be super into... You can have a lot of friends, right? But don't be... Don't try to be like the primary school class clown. <laughs> I don't know how to explain the primary school class clown, you know, it's like, wow, la, 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 very rowdy. Then in the, in the, in the record card, then people put like, oh, boisterous and yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, right? Fun loving. Yeah, but then like, 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 low key annoying. Okay. Yeah. I get you what know? you mean. I get what I mean. I, like from, two and two. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Don't need to be two and two. Just be and two enough. Yeah. Don't force yourself to be and two. I realized that, yeah, actually that's true. Uh. I mm. realized that the people who, who, um, who and two, right? Also yeah. no friend one. Yeah. Eh. And the rest of the people who, the people who like others respect the most are always the people who are like very silently working. Uh. And them chill. Them they, chill. They relax. It's not that they love NS, uh. but they won't hate, they won't uh. hate it. They'll do shit. But like, when something is stupid, they also go like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. And then, but they still do it, you know? But yeah, they will the still be like, they will just, ah, correct. <laughs> be a Sasuke, correct. Be a Sasuke. Except, don't, don't brood, uh, don't be evil. Uh, don't be, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. be a murderer. Don't be a murderer. Yeah. Other than that, you're good. Yeah, be a Sasuke. Be a Sasuke. Yeah. And like, Naruto is a bit annoying. Naruto is annoying. So don't be a Naruto because like, like, okay, but you do have to embrace the Naruto's uh, tenacity. Correct. Ah. Correct. Embrace his perseverance ah. and like how how much he doesn't give up. And right? his his positivity. Yeah. But demeanor wise, Sasuke. Ah, be Sasuke. But don't be murderer like Sasuke. Don't be murderer. murderer. <laughs> For those of you who know what we just said, yeah, very good. But basically, right, my point is that you don't want to oversell yourself. Why? Like? Yeah. Because people can pick up on bullshit. Correct. Right? I would I would argue that people pick up on bullshit better than slacking. Mm. You're right? Yeah. And like when people are two and two, right, it makes them difficult because you you heighten the energy levels of the of your commanders. Mm. 
and as a result, this heightened energy level might be accidentally applied to everyone else. Yeah. And I, I never... Uh, that's why, like, in field camp, my, BN, my my commander was saying that, like, oh, during the normal days, right, like, all the Wayang people have a very easy Wayang because, yeah. like, you have a lot of energy, right? It's yeah, like, yeah, during yeah. field camp, then suddenly all the true leaders will come out mm. because, like, these Wayang people don't have energy really. Mm. So, like, then I realised that during field camp, all the people who are, like, just quietly working and, and like, who... Who, who just not say like super enthusiastic but they will do work those are the yeah. people that in the end will become leaders la. Yeah. and all those people who like doing like koi, koi line stuff will be like well, shout them loud ah, move them guys fast. guys hurry up hurry up <laughs> we have one more minute uh, uh, uh. guys don't, <laughs> don't drop your helmet yeah but it's that kind right which is like oh, a bit, I'll be like fuck you la. shut the fuck a up a bit like fucked up like too extreme. Yeah. I don't mind if there is, there's a time and place right that calls for you to remind everyone yeah yeah right like for example, you run down and you forgot your water bottle, then you're running back up, you faster shout and make sure like, guys, bring water water, I forgot my one. Oh. I think that one is much better. Uh, than like, guys, make sure you all got your water water. <laughs> <laughs> Command us to bring your water water. Saya to bring your water water downstairs and make sure it's full. There are the same people who will say company term for like random people that we don't know. That's why. <laughs> I but I, okay I get oh it God. if there's a team right that one is fine I don't mind yeah, I don't yeah. mind it's just that like like yeah so for me right I'm quite in high energy yeah, yeah. in NS mm. so how I expand my energy without being too overwhelming and yeah. too, right and here's another tip right if you want you want to try to enjoy yourself or if you feel like you got a lot of energy expand yeah right be song I see <laughs> be song I see that's true, that's true. Every time you go for a route march, every time you go for some exercise, every time you go for a run, every time you go for anything that's what I see. that requires you to walk or march or whatever, they always need song I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there will be a there will be a platoon I see. Mm. There will always be counting, mm. right? Or giving out command to march, to mm. go somewhere to eat. Mm. Right? Like for example, permission to carry on, uh, sergeant, carry on. Uh, uh, company, so yeah, company Kakiripu uh, say company Dariki uh, Japa Jalan, right? Yeah, then go, right? Yeah. Oh, you remember this shit? Yeah, I don't remember. Eh. Continue. Oh, correct, right? That's correct. Eh. So they, they start then they all turn left and they all march off, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, left, left. I right, got a song. Left, right. Someone will sing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually someone to, will sing to try. It, it helps to keep time also. Yes. For me, right? I'm noisy, ma. So you just sing, la. That's fine. Then I start the songs, ah. Yeah. Then I'll echo after me, I've ah. ever only started one song. And it was because it was like a very it was a very dark day uh. and everyone was kinda of seen. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I sang uh Coin Blues and it kinda of hit different. Uh, no, but but like you get what I mean, right? Yeah. Like if you somehow, somehow hear me out, you're breathless, you're dying, you're really tired, yeah. blah 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 blah. You sing a stupid song breathlessly with your friends, right? It it perks you up a little bit. It does look. It perks you up definitely a little bit. But for me, right, hear me out. You know why I like I like being song I see? Mm. Firstly, I like to make noise. Mm, yes. Right, mm. but right, mm. I use it as an outlet. Mm. The outlet, hear me out. So, so the why young tia, right? Yeah, I insult them in the song. <laughs> really? Yeah, like 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 the one song is the they say that in the army. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the cadet. Then I, then I add my own lyrics on the cadet. Very why young? <laughs> very why young? The, you 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 ask for ID tag, which is the doc tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ask for ID tag, they show you marksman tag because the one guy, right, he haven't, uh, that we go for life range. Yeah. Haven't award the marksman yet. He get marksman tag he, really. He, he not Velcro on it. Eh. He's, He's so, so on. <laughs> okay. And then, right. And then, right, hear me out. Oh, no. Fucking funny because after that, when we go for a root march, then everything out, right, then they, they do a seat, uh, is it called seat rep? No. Yeah, the everything out. The, 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 the check the, one. The check one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for spread. For they spread. For spread. Okay, okay. Then he don't have ID tag. Oh, so I never no. let that go. Oh, no. I march, 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 I sing. <laughs> I insult. <laughs> then, then, uh, then after that, right, when you start to have fun, then people get your personality and they are more chill with you. Man. Even the commanders more chill with you. Yeah. So got one commander very chum siong with us. Man. Very, very chill, very relaxed. And then we get his vibe well because and, and he knows that we are all Trying to be positive. Yeah. yeah. So got one time what he he our commander in the he was being a safety officer. So he's sitting in the land rover. Yeah. Yeah, it's out here. Ah. <laughs> I said the commander very wah young. <laughs> As his cadet go march, but he sit in something. Lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then he then he then he 
<laughs> so like, that's like, cool. Like you know, in, in that sense, right? You create your own fun, and then and then you and then you enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. And then you get to pass all pass uh snide remarks, right, about things that people are thinking but they don't dare to say, mm. right? So that's how you sort of like like create your own fun by being a a a, a song I see, yeah. yeah. And then if you know the wayang one, that's you true. just be honest and have fun. I feel like you are in your your problem, right, is very different from my problem. Yeah. Because you have like too much energy. Yeah. And I have not enough of it. I think <laughs> because in NS hear me out. Uh, yeah. The the sleep schedule good. <laughs> like if there's one thing I have to say about NS. Just this is okay? very decent. The sleep schedule and the Most diet. Of them, la. Oh, oh yeah. These oh, two yeah. things, right? You'll be the healthiest in, you've ever been. Yeah. Really, yeah. In Singapore's context. Yeah. Unless you are a crazy rich Asian. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. NS might be the healthiest years of your life. Yeah, I agree. Okay, one last tip, John, for me. Mm. I think for the... Now I'm going to represent the people who who, who might be feeling a little down during NS. Right. right? Those people who are like going through mental health issues. Because yeah. as someone who has gone through mental health... The reason why I don't pass because of anxiety, right? Yeah. So people who are going through mental health issues, I would say... Or any like feeling sad or whatever, right? Uh. In army, I think the big problem with army is that like, cause all guys, right? I think yeah. guys do not express emotions properly, yeah. and they don't. I will admit, yeah, that during NS, right, I have a very poor understanding of mental health issues, mm. and I didn't have good empathy for people who actually had issues. Oh, okay. Because that I mean, is the prevailing. Yeah, because mindset. they all think they're trying to talking. Not only is yeah, because of, because of, firstly they're talking supermarket. Secondly, yeah. right. It's not talked about enough. Nobody knows what it is. I agree. I agree. So it's not, I won't say it's anyone's fault per se. Mm. It's just that I think generally like in army is not a very like great place to like be like emotionally vulnerable yeah. or whatever. Because partially because uh, most people don't know how to first of all be emotionally vulnerable and second of all deal with emotional vulnerability. Yeah. Like whether it's officers or friends or whatever. Most people like don't know how to fucking deal with it. Like even your guy friends now so most people don't know how to deal mm. with it. Mm. So I would say if you are feeling sad of uh, feeling down or like sometimes it's not something you can just suck up like you're just down right like you said you need, you need to vent or you need to talk to someone mm. about it I would say uh, first of all try to talk to someone in the, in your own section if it's one person yeah. like I would say if you take the first step for the most part right most people are a lot more uh, open to hearing it than you think you you think they are la. right I think the, the sometimes the barrier is a bit like in your mind la that like they don't they don't get it or they won't understand mm. like because I remember there's one guy who's like my, my buddy he's like super jockey right mm. he's like a football player or whatever and mm. like he's like he's the kind of like will like go club whatever he's like almost like a fuck boy right mm. and then I remember I I, 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 I my girlfriend broke up on me then I told him like in the coy line I was like hey dude like she broke up on me man then he was like oh shit do you want to hug hey hug he hug on the coy line I remember wow. he was super nice and he's not that kind of guy you know because he's not that kind of like Will like he's quite like a <laughs> fuck you kind of guy. He's he's like a bit of a T by and also uh, a bit like uh I won't say toxic masculinity, but like like that kind of chauvinistic uh, vibes. Not, not a bit la. But he's not vibes uh, only, ma. Vibes only, really. vibes yeah, only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not la. Mm. So but but that I think I was very glad that I took that first step to like mm-hmm. tell him. And like because of that, he helped me a lot of things that like that next few weeks, right? Yeah. He, he or like whatever he would like, he would like, hey Lester. Yeah going through some shit, man. Guys need help him out. And then, then the, the section may help me out. Or section oh. will help me out. So like, because of this, I think like, being able to like, talk to your friends first of all, very important. But even if, let's say you don't have like, people you can trust in that section, I would say, try to find like, from outside lah, your friends outside. Uh. Like, if you're comfortable talking to uh. girls, like maybe your school, ex schoolmates or your family or whatever, find an outlet to talk about it lah. Uh. And, uh, and also, I would say, try, try to, against I, I I think most officers will be like immediately thinking you're t- trying to talk in especially mm. if you have mental health illnesses mm. right I think it's very natural because a lot of people are trying to talk in with it I would say like if you're actually really going through with it like you don't get discouraged too much by it mm. because I don't think they mean anything by it Yeah, I think there's something I learned also la. like I used to be very angry at my officers Yeah, like why you doubt that I have anxiety or why you do this to me mm. like this is it not obvious uh, you're, so, you're so like whatever, you're such a bad officer, whatever. Mm. But nowadays, I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm like, it's actually kind of natural that they did feel like that way. Yeah. And and once they realize that it's real, they were very nice. Mm. So, yeah. I, I would say like, don't don't hold it against them and, but at the same time, stand your ground. Yeah. No, but I want to add on to that. Yeah. Right? So, 
Uh, I think in NS, the first step whenever you're going through difficulty, yeah, right, is to not keep it in. Yes, I agree. What kind of difficulty all kinds of have, have, right? It can be emotional, can be mental, can be physical, can be all kinds. Do not keep it in. Why? Because uh, NS is not good at proactively helping you. No. Right? Yeah. But NS has a lot of uh, uh, channels mm. for you to proactively help yourself. Mm. Right. And and what I mean by that is that there are actually multiple points in which you can contact. So Alistair say you can go and talk to a buddy, right? That one is yeah. the first point of contact. You can talk to your trusted commander, mm. the second point of contact. You can talk to people outside. You know, SA have also got helpline. Mm. So here's the thing. The moment you feel any difficulty, the moment you experience any difficulty, right? Instinctively, you are uncertain. You are in uh, you know, you're in uncharted waters. You're, you we understand that. But I want to encourage uh, anyone who is going through a difficult patch, right? Immediately, right? Go to one of these channels and try to get help. Because mm. if you get help earlier, right? You have a better chance of breaking yourself out of that difficult cycle. Yes. Yeah. Right? Because NS is, has a lot of resources, so much so that actually they have a lot of connections to a lot of professionals and everywhere. It's just that when you first encounter any difficulty, right? There's this very toxic mindset that sometimes people think, ah, it'll be fine. Yes. Or like they don't dare, right? Then as a result, they play it down, they downplay it or they put it off to the before break, until breaking point. Until then, breaking point. Oh. Yeah. Then everything goes haywire. Don't yeah. don't leave it to that. Mm. And admittedly, there are people who when you tell them this sort of things, they will respond very badly. Correct. 100% will have one. Yeah. It's because like, that's just, that's even the, in no, army. That's, that's, that's the way it is. But mm. I think, yeah, on top of that, 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 that tip of uh, approaching as early as possible, right? Always be honest. Yeah. Always be honest. You know, off camera, we were talking about how people, how we struggle with uh, whether we feel unwell enough to see doctor, whether we feel <laughs> unwell enough to deserve MC. Yeah. Don't think like that in NS. If you're yeah. ever feeling unwell for whatever reason, be honest. Mm. Not asking you to talk king, right? Not asking yeah. you to malinger. It's called malingering. Not asking you to malinger and up, upsell your 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 pain wellness yeah huh? be honest and say that i don't feel well this 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 more often than not you you hear me out more often than not right if you are honest yeah and you tell them that you feel like this and even you can even go so far and feel that i'm worried that uh actually uh you think that i'm talking yeah, yeah, right? yeah but i'm feeling like this if you go and say it like that right more often than not people trust yeah, I agree. More often than not, they trust your word. Why? Because most of the time, even though all this, a lot of these commanders are NSFs, right? They also don't want, right, your breaking point to be on their hands. Correct. They, they, I, I, I think nowadays it's probably getting a little bit better also. Mm. La. But and even in the back of the day, uh, I say back in the day as if it's very long time ago, but not that yes, long yeah. ago. La. <laughs> but even, Mine a bit longer. Yeah, yours a bit longer. Mine a bit not that long ago. Uh. But even back in my day, you know, uh. like, uh, like whenever I say, and then there'll be some people who be like, oh my God, mm. oh, you have anxiety, you got MC, uh, wow, even I wish I got anxiety, kind of thing. There'll be mean people, mean yeah. people, but there were also very, very nice people who, who were like, yeah. are you okay? Then I'll tell them like, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay, but like my commander don't let me like take MC because of blah, blah, blah. Mm. And they'll be like, hey, fuck them, do go and like call call the SF hotline, like, yes. do something about it, like, Absolutely. they cannot do this to you, do it. Yeah. And they are, like, super supportive. Yeah. So, that both sides of a coin, and I would say, don't let the bad side of it prevent you from seeking the help that you need. Absolutely. And you know, you talk about commanders, right? Why I say it's a trusted commander, because mm. a lot of the times, you will form a good connection with at least one commander, and NS is a rank system. But, that being said, okay, that being said also, you know, there are many commanders that you can approach. Yeah. Many. Right? If your direct commander is not particularly receptive, right? most of the time they have colleagues that are at the same level that you can ask. Hmm. You know, Even though it might be a little bit uh, iffy to do that. right? But if you are in genuine trouble and you need honest help, go on it. Because yeah. hear, hear me out. Okay? Commander will threaten you right? if you are trying to malinger. Right? But if you're honest and despite the threats, you still go and seek help from other people. right? More often than not, the immediate response will be like, why this guy jumped him on command? But then after that, they discover it's real. They got nothing to say after that. In fact, they'll put in the resources to help. No, I mean, the the MOs are very nice as well. Yeah, they just don't want, the main thing is, they just don't want you to malinger. And if you don't, if you are very honest and you don't, yeah, they, I think you will win their trust yeah. as well. And la. for those of you planning to talking, please fucking do this episode very good. 
Because if you're playing the Cao King and you go in Cao King, you cause a lot of problems with for people with real Who problems. actually have the problems. Yeah. Exactly. And it make everybody's life very difficult. And it's it's just bad. Like, yeah. It as was a, such an uphill battle. Someone as an NSF commander. Okay, I'm an officer when I was an NSF, right? Very difficult to suss out this because I'm not a trained therapist or to trained fact, mind even, reader. To be fair, even psychologists like yeah. a bit hard already. So it's hard. Do long. not talking, do not malinger. Don't yeah. be lazy. NS is inevitable. Don't avoid inevitable things. When you try to avoid inevitable things, maybe you avoid 20% of it. But then the 80% kind of knock you like a truck. Then, yeah, I'll say just try really. la. You don't have to like be the most high flying soldier. Don't have to like be like going above and beyond or whatever. But just try. You and can go above and beyond if you want to be a commander. La. Yeah, la, yeah, la. But if you if you are if you are like the if if you are thinking of talking, I was I would urge you to just not and just try do yeah. your job and yeah. and just live a simple life and not think too much about it rather than talking because it, it makes everyone's life harder. It's true. It makes every, and even lives like my mind that that are affected because of these people. Mm. That I have to go through that nonsense because of people who talking. And it's not even like the officers for whatever. Yeah. So oh well. But yes, those are my final tips, John. Those are my final tips too. Any uh last words for the people who are going NS? Last words for people going NS, uh try to enjoy yourself and audio oh, Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I, it's your time soon, lah. The two years will pass by eventually. Yeah. Enjoy I yourself. won't say it's fast. I won't say it's slow. You'll pass by. If you all got any more tips about national service or any other inevitable things like uh, I don't know, O levels, death, <laughs> death. Oh my god. We should leave do it a, in the comments below. Should we do a dealing let's with do death a, episode? Let's do a death episode. An episode about our our deep dark thoughts. We should we should invite like a like a. Like a deaf coach. Yeah. Like Prof Andy. Andy does, uh, Prof, Prof, Professor Andy does uh, Deaf and Dying. There's a bot called Deaf and Dying. If you would like that, leave me in the comments below. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Thank we you so much. We love you. Stay, Stay safe. safe. Don't get monkeypox. Oh no. Are we changing the end, end title? Still COVID. Still COVID or monkeypox? Still COVID. Don't get, don't, don't get monkeypox. Don't get also, COVID. Also, wait, wait, wait. She's going to reserve this from next week onwards. So, uh, the next two weeks will be uh, me and Kezia and probably some guests. Pretty apt that we're talking about NS. But we're about to go recalibrate my sleep schedule. <laughs> it's time to get it back. Yes. Stay safe. Don't get COVID. And monkeypox. And monkeypox. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye.